guys, I, I this is like the most exciting thing that's ever happened. So everyone needs to sit down. Sit. Sit. Okay. I know I'm being blown out right here, but the Fred, careful, mister. Fred's excited. We're all excited. This is like, I'm going to try to turn this so I don't have that. Hey, that's a sweater. Okay. Seriously, like, I don't know if hell froze over or what, but I just discovered something that I guess happened in October and then again in March and is going to happen again on May 1st. <clears throat> And you're like, what the fuck is he talking about? I'm going to tell you what I'm talking about. There has been an author who I have been telling you guys to read ever since I started my channel. In fact, I'm holding one of his books in my little channel picture. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you in case you forgot Carter Brown. This one is actually hysterical. It's a Mavis book. Um, <clears throat> Carter Flippin' Brown is finally um, has an online presence that is like big, meaning there's a website that talks about him. Um, I feel like the Wikipedia page has been a little um, revamped as well, for those of you interested. Um, I'm just going to keep holding this because it just feels good. But what I wanted to tell you <clears throat> is that Stark House is reprinting Carter Brown books. Do you understand what's happening right now? Carter Brown is finally being reprinted. Now, Stark House is doing it in America, <clears throat> and in Australia, it is... Um, hang on, hang on. I'll tell you in a second. Um, Booktopia and Amazon. <clears throat> now, I'm going to say, um, it looks like the books that are being reprinted are just Al Wheeler books, which is completely fine because Al Wheeler, in my opinion, is Carter Brown's best character. Um, but, so it looks like there's four in Australia and they're multiple books. So like The Wicked and Blonde Verdict are in one. Um, Delilah Was Deadly and No Heart for My Angel. Booty for a Babe, Eve, It's Extortion, and then No Law Against Angels, and Doll for the Big House. So those are the Australian, um, where is that Stark House thing I had open? Oh, I guess I don't have it open anymore. Um, <clears throat> but the Stark House ones, um, by the way, the covers for the Stark House ones are way better than the Australian ones. So for those in Australia and New Zealand, I apologize. Um, but back in October, they put out um, The Wench's Wicked, Blonde Verdict, and Delilah Was Deadly in one book. Um, and that they did that back in October. Um, now it says these are the first three novels. In the Al Wheeler series. I wonder if that is legit. See, it's difficult because books, Carter Brown books were um, put out with different titles in different countries. And so, even though Carter Brown, like, look at this, over 22 million copies sold. These books say over a hundred million copies sold. Carter Brown's no slouch, and John F. Kennedy, this was his favorite author, with good reason, okay? Carter Brown was flipping huge. Um, and a lot of it, I think, had to do with at least people picking up on it, were the beautiful 
um, McGinnis covers that were done um, when they were released here. Um, but anyway, so in May, was it? Okay, no. In March, they put out um, another one that has No Law Against Angels, Doll for the Big House, Chlorine Makes a Killing, or Corine Makes a Killing. Um, and it has an introduction by um, Carter Brown's son. Like, this is amazing. And what pisses me off is that I'm on the Stark House mailing list, and I did not, I was not aware of this. I would have been, like, screaming from the rooftops that this was going on. And, um, yeah, whatever. Uh, oh, wait, was this in October? 2017. This has been going on for a year, and nobody told me. How am I just now hearing about this? Oh, my gosh. And then in May of last year, No Harp for My Angel, Booty for a Babe, Evit's Extortion. So it looks like what Starkhouse did was take those same books that um, they put out in Australia, and instead of doing four books, they did three with three titles in each book. Okay, so anyway, if you just look up Carter Brown, go to Stark House's website. Um, they're $19.95. Um, it says ebooks are available. Um, man, I am like, okay. This, this video is getting a little rambly. I don't know how I didn't know about this. Like, seriously. <clears throat> okay. I guess it just goes back to that old saying, if you don't start searching for shit on your own, you're never going to find anything. And honestly, there's a part of me that's kind of excited because I did stumble upon this when I was... Um, I'm writing a Carter Brown piece right now, and when I was just researching, um, for the longest time online, there were only really like two pictures of Carter Brown you could find. One of them is this one, um, which I love. Him at his typewriter. Um, and then there's just another one where he's just standing there. Um, and then I find this website, and there's just all these wonderful pictures of Carter Brown. Um, I'm sure I've done like a big Carter Brown video before. So, um, if you're interested in that, find that. But, um, this is just amazing. This is an amazing time. It's so funny because I have been thinking about for the last year that I should try to get the rights to Carter Brown and start putting the books out since they're not available like in reprints anymore um but stark house did it and awesome i'm excited so anyway um go to amazon go to stark house find the new carter brown books and make sure stark house knows you're excited about it if you are and if you're not pretend you are because you will be as soon as you read them so um let them know that that's legit and it's exciting okay everybody i need to calm down now i'm freaking out <laughs>